gonna show you our favourite recipe books. Yep. Ooh, a couple of our favourites. Yeah, we've got two each, and these are books that we just go back to time and time again. And mine are quite like sentimental as well. Like, oh, yeah, like I really like mine that I picked. Um, I like mine. One's more sentimental than the other. Yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Let's get right get into right it. Into it. My first favourite book is this one, and Ooh. it is the Hollywood Bakery cookbook and it's the first one it's absolutely gross it's covered in crap because it's been so well used but <laughs> this is so old now you can probably get it from like the cheap bookshop for probably like get that a couple like of quid this is so sentimental to me because when me and Katie were first learning how to bake and stuff this was the first recipe book that had recipes in yeah. that actually worked. That was like our final. Yeah. We absolutely We, we made it. loads of stuff out of this. So, few recommendations. I would say the vanilla oh, cupcake. The vanilla cake. Like, that is just, it's a brilliant recipe. It's and a really good recipe. Yeah, it just, you can make as you can double it, make as many as you want. And it, it has like techniques for ice in them as well if you want to do like the nice, like, Frost and spread on like they've done. And then obviously. Oh, you love this The hummingbird cake recipe is just so, so nice. And it comes out perfect like every time. If you follow that recipe, you just can't go wrong. So nice. So hummingbird cake, for those of you that don't know, is banana, pineapple, and pecan. It's yep. a bit like a carrot cake, but more tropical. A more exotic. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. yes, if you if you see this kicking around, it's Pick definitely it is great. All of the recipes are just really, really good, really easy to follow, and they all work. Oh, which is the main I thing love that. that. You want with a recipe? <laughs> My first book is this one. It's a bit of a, a weird choice. Like um, people have really strong feelings against Lorraine Pascal. Oh, I like her. A lot of people think that she's rubbish because she's a model. She's not really she's a very good chef. But I really like her. Our recipes are really kind of accessible, and then um, they're just so easy to make. And you can just whip it up in no time. There's no fancy ingredients, and they always came out really, really tasty. I've got all of our books, but I think this one is the one that I use the most. Oh, this. Is this? Potatoes Brothers! It's my favourite recipe it's for Potatoes Brothers. It is unreal. I will never, ever, ever use a different recipe other than that one. It's so good. It like it uses new baby potatoes, just fully roasted, and oh my lord, it is just so, so nice. And very nice. Trees, this is one I make all the time. Um, tandoori chicken wraps with cucumber rider. Obviously, it's not very good for all, but I used to make that all the time before Chris turned vegetarian. Ooh, that's but, um, now we is a vegetarian. Mm. I've made it with tofu and also um, paneer. Oh, and it still oh, works really, really well. Very it's just nice. like a really good book that you can make your stuff from midweek. Like there's like no fanciness. You just go home and you can have these on the table in like 20 minutes. They're really, really good. Oh. And I always, always go back to this book. It's great. Yes. My second one is one that I have made so much stuff from. And this was a Christmas present as well. It was. And this was really dirty and filthy, but it's well loved. And it is Jamie's America. The TV series. Yeah, you did a really good, the TV program was dead good. It was me. The book is split into like sections for different parts of the, there's like a New York bit that has like pizza and ribs and stuff in. But my favorite bit is the Mexican <laughs> bit, obviously. We literally make stuff out of here all the time. So there's a lush, um, like a chickpea, with like blackened chicken that is so nice and dead easy to make not like loads and loads of ingredients oh the chili cheese cornbread is so nice as oh, well if you're having like a mexican night gosh. so nice really good um where's that oh the there. mexican breakfast oh that is so good just try <laughs> everything in one pan have it in some wraps there's I another love that book too it's, it's one of my favorites I absolutely love it it is it is good there's another eggy one i wanted to show you before i show you like this is me, me signature dish. Is it? Is it this food oh, really? I'm it all the time? This. <gasps> you I haven't made it for a while actually, but me and Ryan used to eat this maybe two nights a week. It was so bad. So nice. Asian alligator with sweet potato and salsa. Now obviously you can replace the alligator with, <laughs> with a bit of chicken. <laughs> with chicken, which is what we did. But the salsa, oh, it's so nice. It's got like loads of vinegar and stuff in and then the chicken is coated with like mustard and yes. paprika and nice. that. Oh, it's so, good. so nice. And then like nice 
He does it with like roasted whole sweet potatoes and then mashes them, but we just used to make sweet potato fries. Yeah. Google that recipe, people, because it is the nicest thing ever. It's it so good. I like Jamie's Southern Sausage Stew from in there. Oh yes, I've um, never made that. I make that. Well, I used to make that probably like once a week. It was you make it all the time? All the time. It's I love so, that so you do good. that. I wonder if I can it's just the it. Oh, it's so there. It's so tasty. That is like, it's my ultimate go-to recipe. Mm. If I don't know what to make, I make Jamie's Southern Sausage Stew and it is delicious. I'm definitely going to have to make that. It's so, so tasty. I love it. My second book is a Nigella Lawson, Yay. happy domestic goddess. You haven't got this on your shelf. Can you even call yourself a human? A woman. Seriously, <laughs> it's just normal. I mean, it is. You can always tell a good cuckoo by how yeah, good it definitely. is. Yeah, definitely. This is monkey because I've had it. It's sticky. It's covered in cake. It's just. Ugh. I'm oh, always having it out. So good. But it's just like the ultimate. Everything is in this book. Every cake that you would ever dream of making, there's something in here. And I mean, you can't go wrong. And Nigella's like recipes always work. Always as well. well. Like they're loads always of cake easy. recipes that you get that just don't work. Yeah. Or they're really tight on like the ingredients. Yeah. And stuff. Like, like you've always got to at least double it. But Nigella, yeah. it's always comes out like to the letter. And I absolutely love this book. Mm -hmm. It's just one. If you're just a bit bored, I just like to have a leaf through it because yeah. she's always got good crack at the beginning of her recipe. Yeah, well. like a little tail. And I do enjoy it. I like these if you're ever having like a picnic or an alfresco oh. lunch. Sort of potato pies. They're dead good, they're dead simple to make. And they're meant to have just hoying in a bag and taking out if you're having a bit of fun outside. Gin and tonic jelly! Obviously! Oh. Not oh. bad! Gin and tonic jelly man! Woo! Get it in shot glasses oh, and you're sorry. It's still alcoholic then! Yeah! Oh, oh. Where was it? 250 ml of gin in it. Blimey. These, I went through a phase of like throwing dinner parties all the time and I always, always made these for mm. my puddings. The molten baby lava cakes. And it's just the best. These are the best ones I've ever tried. Well, I've ever made. Because they, they stay liquid in the centre. Yeah. Really good. A lot of them, you have to cook them for too long and it's just a nightmare, but Nigel is work. And these, these are, are the they best are? cupcakes I ever made. I remember I made these and I brought them around to your flat yeah. when we were like practicing for pet lambs. Oh. These chocolate cherry cupcakes. They were so, so tasty. They're really, I love cherry What's and chocolate cherry together. It's like cherry jam. Oh, cherry jam. Uh -huh. Oh, lovely. And then oh, it's got like double cream and the frosting. Oh. So, so nice. Nigella, man, you can't beat that, honestly, she's so good. Yeah. That's another one where I always like If you don't like, like Nigella, what is wrong with you? You're not welcome in this shop, mm -hmm. you don't like Nigella, mm -hmm. quite frankly. She's our queen. She's our Beyonce. <laughs> so, that is our favourite two cookbooks that we keep going back to time and time again. Um, if you let us know what your favourite cookbooks are in yeah. the comments. Always on the lookout. We're always on the lookout for a new book. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. any suggestions, recommendations, let us know, because we probably will go and buy them. <laughs> 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 oh, you definitely I will. Help. So we will see you next Sunday, guys. Bye. Bye. And <gasps> welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> that was quick. So we forgot to say that we are doing an Ask Pet Lamb video next week. So we need some questions. Yep. So if you have any questions for us, anything like about anything you want, doesn't have to be about cakes. Um, we will answer them next week in my video. We so leave them will. below or you can tweet us um, at Pet Lamb Girls yep. or you can leave a comment on Instagram. We'll put like a little history. picture up on Instagram, ask Pet Lamb yeah. and you can put your questions on there. Yeah. Ooh. So yeah, let us know. Let what us you know, know guys. We'll get answered next week. Bye. <laughs> we'll see you next Bye. time.